clear him away at least. Countess comes in, and we are able to hit him with the ultimate, and the fadeaway wolf takes out the rampage. What's up everybody on the Mangoose? You are awesome and today I have a shibby game where I lost lane pretty hardcore to a very good Belica player, but through some patience and map awareness we were able to get back into the game and make a pretty big impact on the outcome. Starting the game off by leeching for the jungler. This isn't always necessary, but definitely when you have a Countess jungle. Countess jungle is pretty slow to start off with with her clear, so you want to help her out as much as you can and hope that she reciprocates. Landing against Belica. You don't see a lot of Belicas out here. This one was really good, as I've already mentioned. But uh, my goal here is to hit the minions with the wolf while still hitting the Belica. I want to line it up so I'm hitting minions and Belica at the same time. Her goal is to hit me with bombs and knockups and sap my mana with her drone. Now, unfortunately, because I did leash, um, this bell guy has priority, priority on me. She's got the, the minion wave shoved up. I'm on the low ground. She's on the high ground. It's making it easier for her to hit her skills, harder for, for me to hit mine. She's doing a really good job of pressing her advantage. She doesn't really have to worry because we have a Countess Jungle, and like I said, Countess Jungle is fairly slow, so Belka just doesn't have to worry about a gank that much. As long as she has some wards up, and as long as she has her blink up, she doesn't have to really worry about the Countess too much, so she's doing a really good job of pressing her advantage. And I believe she just went and got the blue mana buff, so now she's going to have even more of an advantage, but I just got to be very patient, wait it out, and wait until I have my ultimate and I can start diving on top of her. But she's hit these bombs really hard. And our Countess did come in, but their Rampage also came in. And uh, she actually did a pretty good chunk of damage to him. And uh, Belica's going to throw down a, a bomb, and I believe she gets her. And there's not much I can do about that. I could try and press forward and take that Belica, but I would just be feeding the Rampage. Like, there, there's no way I could have taken both of them right there, so... It sucks that, that, that the Countess died, but I'm not going to do something stupid just to rectify that situation. I feel bad that I couldn't help her out, but there's no way I could have helped her out. You just got to be patient in these matchups. The enemy tower is under attack. I was going to go back and top off with health and mana, but there was a siege minion up. I don't know why I even walked away at all. Never let a siege minion go go unfarmed like that. Now I've got this whole wave. Belka's not around. I'm going to go ahead and take this wave before I back. At least get some gold because she is uh, pushing me in pretty hard. First back, I'm going to take the refillable health potion, since I am getting my shit pushed in. And we're going to start building into Spirit's Teardrop. I'm going to go ahead and take the 825 gold item. That way, if I have to back on low gold, I can just pick up one of the lower gold components.
Now waiting patiently for her to use her knockup, and there she used it. So that's when I that's I immediately went on, went in after her. So I, I still need to be aware of the rampage coming in, but I was able to at least get a little bit of pressure on her and get some damage on her. But yeah, want to wait for that that knockup ability because that knockup can really fuck me up. There it hit me there, and then the rampage followed up, followed up exactly what I was thinking. Oh, this team is very very well coordinated. They're they're, they're quite good. So I got a little bit of an advantage. She took it right back. So again, I just got to be patient, farm up, and just hope for the best. The enemy tower is under attack. We both have our ultimate, so I gotta be really cautious now because Bellica's ultimate, when you don't have much mana, hits like a fucking truck. Like it hits really, really hard. So now because I don't have any mana, um, I'm gonna go ahead, head back and buy some items. Like I said, I, I left the, uh, the 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 cheaper items on the table so that I can go ahead and pick those up, get a little bit more power, get a little bit more health. The Allied Tower is under attack. Right here we see the Rampage and Belka have invaded our jungle. There's not, I, I don't think there's a lot I could do here, but I am confident that I could get in, do something, and escape. So if I wasn't confident that I would be able to escape this particular situation, I wouldn't have gone in. But I was fairly confident, so I did go in. And it looks like we're going to do a lot of damage to this Belka. Unfortunately, she tried to blink up to the wall and didn't quite make it. Now she's got our whole enemy team coming after her, unfortunately for me. Of the um my dash it, it goes in a straight line so if I, it goes up it goes up and and countess is getting savaged by rampage i'm trying to distract him as much as i can i really don't think there's much i can do especially now that he's ulted up and i don't have any kind of heal reduction items yet it's pretty early in the game now bellic is getting it i'm just going to go in and try and distract the rampage as much as i can so hopefully the 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 muriel can at least get away and we are successful in doing that, thank thankfully. Muriel's got those shields that are just amazing. Gonna continue building in the Spirit's Teardrop. I usually have it at this point in the game. Oh, but man, yeah, it, it's been it's been a rough one. But again, we're just gonna be patient. Uh, they're trying to defend my tower. Um, thank thank you guys for trying to defend my tower. I'm here. You guys can go back. I'll go ahead and. Hey, it still showed up from the off lane. It's always good to have a steal. The Allied Tower is under attack. Now, normally in a game, I would have rotated a lot more as well. I would have been rotating through throughout the, the duo, through, uh, rotating the solo. But there's just a uh, like, like I said, I've been pushed in this entire time. I need to, I need to farm. I need to. Uh, I need to get these minions and and stay on par with this Belica. The I mean the main thing I, I just don't want to feed her any kills so that in the late game team fights I could actually be effective without her being super effective. The enemy tower is under attack. An ally has slain an enemy. The enemy tower is under attack.
I was thinking about backing. I popped a quick check just to see if I had enough for Spears Teardrop. Um, in that kind of situation, you don't want to back unless you have enough gold for an item. Like, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm low on mana, but I didn't really need to back right there. If I didn't have enough gold, I would have farmed up enough gold for it. So now I have Spears Teardrop, so I'll be a lot more effective in these fights. Freed up to roam a little bit, so I'm going to try and help our steel take out this Sevrog who is uh, pretty well stacked by now already. Steel charges in. I hit him with the ultimate, but it wasn't enough. He hit us with the ultimate, put us both under the tower. Really well done from him. Uh, steel hung around in there a little bit long. I should have probably stepped up much, much sooner. I tried to dash into him and take him out, but uh, yeah, I don't want to make the same mistake Steel did. Now, I could just hang around, wait for him to, to push up and try and take him with the wolves. But I'm, I don't want to get into a dick measuring contest with a Severog when the rest of his team could just come in behind me and delete me. Like, there's no reason for me to stick around there. I see way too many people trying to hang out and, and get a kill, and, and then they just get deleted. It sucks that the steel died, and I kind of hate that I baited him into that, but... It is what it is. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna die just because I feel bad. <laughs> and now we're starting to build into a little bit of uh, heal reduction, which is going to help us out against the rampage. Uh, a correctly timed heal reduction on a rampage ultimate uh, will render it render it uh, far less effective. The enemy duo is pushed way, way up, and there's the other reason that I need to be building healing reduction is Narbash. Narbash is insane in this game, especially late, if you don't have any kind of healing reduction to reduce how, how much he can keep everybody alive. Now, I could go on Narbash, but I instead focus on Revenant. Um, I think he's the, he's the far more dangerous one in Rampage, and our duo was able to take him out. I ended up picking up the kill on Narbash anyway, but I... I'm happy with my decision that I made there to go after Revenant instead of the Narbash, even though we could have probably killed the Narbash a lot quicker if I would have just stuck on him. But um, now here comes Rampage once again, ulting up. Rampage is so difficult to deal with. Hit him with the ultimate, not quite enough to kill him. Hit him with a fadeaway reindeer. He's taking Spear's teardrop stacks, but because I don't have any healing, healing reduction yet, uh, I just started to build into it. His ultimate carries him through. If I would have had just uh, just that smidge of healing reduction, I might have got picked up that kill on Rampage just now. The tower and there we go. I'm going to pick up Nightmare, which is the uh, component item that's going to build into uh, the healing reduction. So this is the tier 2 healing reduction. It gives me just a, a little bit. Not as much as a full Sage's Whip, but uh, it's still better than nothing. Fortunately, I was paying attention, and I hear Rampage coming in hot. Sidestep the boulder, hit him with a uh, hit him with a wolf. I'm not too afraid of this Rampage. I'm level 10, he's level 9. I do have Spirit's Teardrop to uh, kind of deal that ticking health damage, but I don't know where the rest of his team is, so I don't want to engage into this without my team backing me up and not knowing where their, their team is. So I'm not 100% afraid of this Rampage, but I am afraid of his team collapsing. But now I do see Sevrog and, uh, and Belica on the right side. So I'm a little bit more confident pushing up. He does catch me with a nice jumping boulder. Respect that. And I, I don't have a tower to go to go back to. And there they are. They did came in, come in behind me. Fortunately for me, Revenant ulted me. If Revenant didn't ult me, I probably would have been dead right there. But uh, he gave me a get out of jail free card by ulting me. Now, this team has a lot of beefy boys, but I can just zerp straight through him with Shibby. I was hoping I could deal enough damage to the Revenant to kill him. I could see immediately that I was not going to have enough damage. So I went ahead and pieced out. Um, 
team jumped in a little bit too far. We, I mean, this Countess is uh, trying her best, but she is just a Countess against a very beefy team. She ended up dying. Un unfortunate, but uh, I was able to get away. So we need a little bit more damage before we can start just deleting the Revenant, but it will happen. It will happen. Has been defeated by an enemy. And unfortunately, the enemy team got the Prime Guardian Underling, which sucks, but oh well. Uh, then somebody on our team immediately tried to surrender. I don't know who the fuck that pussy was, but get that shit out of my games. I mean, it's the one Guardian Underling. Why are you surrendering already? But anyway, I hate that shit. We are going to push forward and uh, keep doing what we can. Uh, looks like Twiblast wants to step up. I, I kind of want to escort him in here. And, yep, there's the Severog. Twiblast, nice route on the Severog. We're going to dash straight through, get in on their Rampage. I thought I was going to be able to kill him, but not quite enough. Man, this Rampage, the, the, the health from his ultimate just... It eats you up. It eats you up. But, uh, there's the Revenant, and that's who I really want to get on top of. So we dash in, take out the Revenant. Narbash follows immediately. Rampage is way too low to re-engage on this, so they did get the underling, but we did win the team fight. Pretty hardcore won that team fight, really. Now I've got enough for Sage's whip, so uh, the Rampage will still be a problem, the Narbash will still be a problem, but there will be 40% less of a problem. <laughs> Team took the initiative to go ahead and take the Earth Spirit, which is nice. It's going to give us more physical and magical armor, give us a little more survivability in the team fights. The ally absorbs the energy of the spirit. Blast steps way up into several members of the enemy team. Fortunately, they left their, their revenant behind, so I tried to dash in on him. I fucked it all up. I fucked that up so bad, so I'm just going to cut my losses and move back in, in, in here with the team. Start doing whatever we can. See if we can finally take this rampage out. Hit him with the ultimate. I'm, I'm dashing through him. Oh, he's so he's so tanky. He's so tanky, but Twin Blast is able to take him out. <laughs> so we get it. Picked up a double kill. I don't know how we picked up a double kill right there, but we did. The Prime Guardian has spawned.
The reversal is charged. Tower is under attack. Ready to battle. Looks like the enemy team is pushing solo lanes, and we're going to try and help out our steel. If we can, I would love to get onto their back line. But then Rampage just jumps right on top of me. I don't really want to fight this Rampage, though. So I'm going to zerp right on out of there. He just kind of scared me. Now, I tried to ult the Severog, but I en ended up ulting the uh, Narbash, but a huge, huge shield slam from uh, from our steel. Really well done. We ended up taking out the uh, Severog. I just kind of put a little bit of damage on the Revenant, and again, we win a very nice team fight. Not sure where their Bellica was and all that, but um, she probably looked saw, saw the, the tides turned and just, just left, so respect to her for that. And now we're freed up to take the uh, the prime if we can. But um, I don't really know about this decision. It's still pretty early in the game, and uh, I mean twenty. It's twenty minutes, but still the, the the death timers aren't that long. So we are going to do this. I don't have much mana. I kind of want to conserve it a little bit. And I don't know why this fucking the prime was beating the shit out of me. I can't take that damage. Not like Steel can. And as we can see there, the, the enemy team has has arrived. They are showing up. Our team immediately just abandons the uh, the Prime, which is probably good. We need to push him off of it. Here comes Darbash. Landed a nice double wolf there. And we ended up picking it up, so we need to just roll out now. We we, we got the Prime. Uh, nice smiting from our team. So now we need to we need to peace out. I don't want to hang around and uh, and just get killed. And uh, this Belica could easily delete me with just one ultimate. So I'm going to get all the way out of here. The enemy team somehow pushing R and Hib off of the off of us taking the prime. Now I do want to dash in in this situation. However, I'm on the uphill, so if I dash, I'm just going to be see just up in the air like that, just giving them an upskirt. So I just dashed right back through, and uh, you, you really got to pay attention to where you're dashing at. Got knocked up by Belica and rooted, so we are we do have Prime. Um, I don't like that Belica drone draining my mana. They're just going to back up, so uh, we cut our losses there. We we dealt a lot of damage to them, and uh, they're they're going to have to run away. So I think we're good here. No reason to to chase down by myself. Once again, in a situation where my dash isn't going to be super effective because I'm going to be jumping over top of them just like that. So I jump in on them and then I immediately flash up to higher ground because I did not want to be just in the middle of the enemy team like that. I, I want to be up here poking for now until I have my ultimate and everything. So uh, we are going to try and go after their back line. But again, Rampage kind of presents himself to me and we're able to take him out. So there, there's their Rampage down. Major player off the field. Wish I could have picked up that Belka, but oh well. Now, I thought the natural thing for our team to do would be to rotate and take this Wind Spirit. But uh, apparently they did not agree. They they uh, they went and took a tower, I think. But uh, Countess and I are able to take this thing down. It's just uh, going to take us a hell of a lot longer. And I do have a little bit of life still now from, uh, I'm starting to build in the Archon's Gospel, which is helping me out, helping me survive against this Wind Spirit. Um, e even this late in the game, this thing's still kind of dangerous. You see it knocking, knocking our poor Countess around, so I'm trying to tank a little bit of damage. She's tanking a little bit of damage. We ended up taking it out. She, a nice smite from her. Thank God she's actually rocking the Destroyer Stone. 
And speaking of Archon's Gospel, this is going to give us a lot more healing, a little, a little bit of spell vamp, so we can hang out in these fights a little bit longer, stay on that back line a little bit longer, and uh, survive against uh, Rampage a little bit longer. A bit of a tussle there, uh, and we're not going to win this fight. Um, with our Muriel and our Steel being so low, and then being so beefy, and having so many members of their team, we're not going to win this fight. So I'm trying to retreat. We're trying to uh, a fighting retreat, which I probably should have just buzzed on out of there, which I did just now. Luckily, they didn't pick up the kill. That Belica has been targeting the shit out of our Muriel this this game, which good on her because Muriel needs to die quick in a fight. <laughs> like she could shield for so much from so far away if you can take out muriel quickly that's what you need to do and that's what their bellica was doing like i said this bellica was really quite good and i just uh tossed that wolf through the bush there to just try and try and see if any of them were just trying to be cheeky and hang around and wait for us to push up you should check bushes with your abilities not your face We ended up doing, with our Twin Blast, a lot of damage, but Twin Blast got stunned and I got stuck on him. <laughs> Otherwise, I think we probably could have killed that Severog. I'm pretty low on mana. I know it doesn't seem like I'm that low, so I wanted to check for the mana bug and get some more mana. But with a Bellico on the field, you just always got to be aware of how much mana you have, especially when you're a mage and especially when you don't have any kind of a magical armor <laughs> like me right now. So I'm going to go ahead and head back, uh, start building into my witch's shoes, which is going to give me a little bit of extra damage on my abilities, and uh, top off on mana so that I don't get uh, cucked by Belica. And I am going to go ahead and get rid of my healing potion. I should have gotten rid of that a long time ago, to tell you the truth, because I do have Archon's Gospel. One thing I have not been doing in this match, which I usually don't do in quick match, is uh, warding. I don't ward a whole hell of a lot in quick match. I just kind of fuck around and have fun. Uh, it, if it was a ranked gameplay, I would have wards constantly and be putting them everywhere. Take Prime, so I want to zone out these people, because I'm not, I don't have that much sustained damage. I'm not going to do that much damage to Prime, so I need to zerp in. I probably should have stayed on their back line. I don't know why I went after this Rampage. Uh, I am going to see what I can do to keep him off of our Twin Blast. Our Twin Blast is our main source of damage, or sustained damage at least. And we are able to deal a shitload of damage, way more than I thought I was going to be able to deal to this Rampage. And now I'm kind of stuck in the uh, Prime. We ended up taking out the Rampage. And the Narbash goes down as well. But Prime reset, we're all really low. It's time to get the fuck out of here. Um, I don't think we ever should have engaged that Prime to begin with. We probably should have just set up a bush gank for them and capitalized on the, the Prime spawning that way. That way, and then we maybe could have taken it. But, um... We're really low, but we did get their Rampage and their Narbash off, off the field, so that's good. Go and these crazy bastards re-engage Prime, which is, uh... Good, I guess, especially since uh, Countess did go back and she comes back and she has the, you know, short, she has our smite. And they don't have their smite anymore because of the, uh, the rampage died, so. I guess that was a good call. Um, I, I was not comfortable with it, but. Good call from our team. They ended up taking it.
as I'm taking this jungle camp, I can hear that Rampage is pretty close, also taking a jungle camp. I can, I'm pretty sure I can just take this Rampage straight up in a 1v1. However, when is a fight ever a 1v1? There's no way I want to just fight for zero reason a Rampage in the enemy jungler jungle, so I just went ahead and peace out. Late game over prime is all about finding these people that are a little too impatient and trying to push forward and taking them out. We have found us a Sevrog that is uh, way far out of position. Nice ultimate from Steel. And I don't need to use my ultimate here. Like, he's going to die. So I could have, like, stolen that kill with my ultimate, but I, I, I saved my ultimate in case I needed it later. And uh, you're going to see... That that pays off here in just a here in just a minute. We're gonna rotate over to this water spirit. Give us a health regen and mana regen. As long as the enemy team doesn't come in, and it looks like they are sharking around, looking like looking like they want to come in. And there's the rampage. And now we got Narbash coming after us, and I see their their backline is all by himself. Now he rooted me, and he, he's actually he's playing this really well. However, I do have my ultimate, and it just fucking deletes him. I did not realize it was going to deal that much damage to the Revenant, so I'm glad I saved my ultimate and didn't use it on that Severog. And with Archon's Gospel, that the ultimate is going to heal me as well. <laughs> Unfortunately, I dashed straight under that Bellica, but still deserved that kill anyway. I didn't want to... I probably shouldn't have taken that kill from Steel, because he worked very hard for it, so good on him. I'm level 16, this Severog is level 14, so I have zero fear for uh, of him, and I should have. This guy is fucking huge, he has so many stacks, and he dealt so much damage to me, I did not expect this shit at all. Like, he is, at, he, he's wrecking me. Like, uh, luckily I have that Archon's Gospel to give me some, some lifesteal, I'm trying to lifesteal up as much as I can. Thank God Muriel comes in to save the day. And now that she's here, we're just going to peace out. Uh, I do not want to hang around and see if I can fuck with that Severog. He jacked me up. Holy crap. Finish out our Witch's Shoes. That's going to give us just a wee bit more damage. And uh would like to start building into Rampaging Toto just to, to cap everything off. And, um... Just surprise them with a fuck ton of damage in the late game. Maybe I can ha actually have enough damage to compete with that Severog next time. <laughs> I definitely don't want to get into another 1v1 with that dude. We've got a good fight mids. Um, Twiblast taking a whole crap load of damage. And their, their rampage is conspicuously absent. Uh, there I see him. He's coming into our back line. So I start hitting him, uh, hopefully to try and keep him off of our ADC, see if we can deal enough damage to scare him away at least. Countess comes in, and we are able to hit him with the ultimate, and the fadeaway wolf takes out the rampage. And now Twin Blast is teeing off on their Bellica. We're going to charge in on this Bellica, no problem taking her out. Now, normally, I would just tower dive the fuck out of this Sevrog, but he scared me earlier. He frightened me. I don't, I don't, I don't want to tower dive, get rooted, and then just be taking tower shots and then die. So I'm just going to stand back, poke the shit out of him with Spear's Teardrop. Uh, Twin Blast is poking him as well. So he, he is extremely low now. I would not be worried about tower diving him in this situation, but he does have Revenant with him now. Nice stun from Muriel. Unfortunately, I wasn't far enough up to capitalize on it. We should be able to get this inhibitor. This is the, um, it's a weak inhibitor. It's the second spawning of this inhib, so I believe, I think, I'm not sure. 
I thought I was going to get catch that Sevrog with my ultimate, but uh, not quite enough damage to kill him. And Rampage is just a non-issue anymore. Wind Blast takes him out quite easily. The enemy inhibitor destroyed. The ally super team in the lane. The ultimate from steel to cap off the game. Now we got minions on the core. We got all of us here. We got most of them dead. And it is time to go ahead and uh, start winning this game. Looks like they had one to go AFK right there at the very end. Which is unfortunate. And there we go. A little bit of patience. And capitalize, you know... Not feeding into my own mistakes and making them worse and capitalizing on uh, enemy team's mistakes. We're able to pull that victory out of our buttholes. I went 9-0 and 11. Pretty damn good. Let's see what the uh, the damage done numbers are. I have a little conversation with our, uh, with our Bellica. Respect. A little bit of mid lane respect. The, the Bellica was real, really, really good. I was, I was very impressed by her. It didn't seem like she was that great because she wasn't getting a lot of kills on me, but she did do really well. But anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you for hanging out with me today. We see the damage to heroes. Twin Blast with the highest damage. We did pretty well, but anyway, this is the Mangu signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangu!